Twitter, as opposed to Google or Facebook, is really about showing you the network that's building up around your engagements. It's about the network that goes perhaps beyond your own specific engagements, your own tweets, and about where people are responding positively or negatively to what you're doing. So the data that you can get from Twitter is really showing you the popular tweets, it's showing you the popular activity that you're managing to generate through your engagements. This is useful because you can respond and pick up on less successful tweeting activity and replace it with the type of activity that responds to your buyer persona. The advantage of Twitter Analytics is also its ability to provide comparison. You can see the types of activities your competitors are doing so that you can judge whether you are successful in relation to that competitor when you're tackling your buyer persona. This means that you can actually respond not just to the buyer persona's own feedback, but also to the competitor's activity and their actions in a way that enables you to get more brand advocates and get one over on your competitor. In terms of accessing data from Twitter, we don't take a lot of data from Twitter. We look and see on the face of it what, um, what our campaigns and what shares and what favourites, etc. our activity has. Uh, we don't get a lot of direct job applications or CV submissions through Twitter, so it doesn't necessarily be the strongest area for us in terms of being able to uh, log in or need, the need to log in to see analytics um, on that particular platform. The Twitter platform. Uh, but actually it's really, really new, uh, only two months uh, we have Twitter advertising in Greece, so it's something new.